He wrote his first horror story here in Baltimore, and he is buried here. Today marks the anniversary of Edgar Allan Poe's death. Ron Matz reports on how the city plans to revive a tradition honoring Baltimore's most beloved literary son. They come to pay tribute with a picture. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. And his poetry. For years, a stranger would come to Edgar Allan Poe's Baltimore gravesite in the middle of the night on Poe's birthday and leave three roses and a bottle of French cognac. Now, surprisingly, in 2009 was his last visit. And since then, he's been a no-show. But that's going to change with the Poe Toaster competition, November 7th at the Maryland Historical Society. We'll have a panel of three celebrity judges who will comment on the performances, but ultimately the audience, the people of Baltimore, will decide who the next Poe Toaster will be. This is fun, and it's a public way that people can participate uh, in this tribute. A tribute that promises to bring a different kind of toaster to Baltimore. We're looking for a new spin on the tradition to celebrate and honor honor the past. The new Poe Toaster will get to perform their toast here at the gravesite on Poe's birthday and also make other appearances around the city. A new icon for the city, kind of like Miss America, He'll, he or she will have appearances, you know, maybe they'll appear at Hunfest or another, you know, Baltimore institution. Ron Matz, WJZ, Eyewitness News. And there is a tribute to Poe on Saturday at 3.30 at the Westminster Hall and Graveyard. And for information about how you can enter the Poe Toaster competition, log on to our website, cbsbaltimore.com.